All right, so now it's time for our toasts and speeches, and we're going to start things off here with the Maid of Honor. And 
So, James, you just fit in from the beginning. Um, Y'all go so well together. It was always Thalia and James from high school. That's all I remember. So, hun, James, I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. Um, may God bless your marriage. I love y'all so much. Um, thank you for making me a part of this beautiful day. Um, it's been perfect. So if everybody would raise their glasses, I don't have my glass and I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> All right, so raise your glasses and cheers to Thali and James, salud. <laughs>
just thank you so much, man. Really. Uh, a relationship, you know, taking somebody in the way that y'all are. It's a lot of baggage, you know, to take in. And my sister shops a lot, man. <laughs> so, good thing, man. You got those 22s, you know. You carry all those bags, man. <laughs> no, but seriously, man, I, I love you both with all my heart. You can count on us for anything, just like I know. And we can count on y'all for anything. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. All right, just to tell you, you left the shots out there unsecured, so this is on you. Um, yeah, table one, right, military guys? Hey, why not, right? All right, so I knew Lopez, and I'm going to call James Lopez because I've always known him as Lolo. Right? Right? Hey, so honestly, Lowe's seen me my worst, right? Um, first deployment. Uh, my grandfather, he raised me, he died. I got a call from, you remember that, Lo? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Terrible point in my life. Terrible point. Worst point, actually, probably. Uh, he was the only person that was there for me. The only person. So, that's my sad story. But, uh, so with him, I'm going to tell two stories. I'm going to tell a story about Thalia, and I'm going to tell a story about James. And I forgot the story about James, so I'm just going to tell him about it. <laughs> uh, it's weird, folks. Um, so James, I remember him one time, he never drank. Never. He would never go out drinking with us. He'd be like, hey, we're going to go out drinking. He's like, no, I'm good. And this one night, I look out, and he's just, like, completely hammered. I'm like, yo, what's wrong? And they're in an argument. He's not a small dude, and I'm not a big dude. I had to carry him up three flights of stairs, and it was extremely difficult for me. But the entire time, he was completely dead weight, wouldn't help me. And completely just was like, oh, please. She won't talk to me. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, for the love of God, I need to get help for this, right? It was terrible for me, actually. Um, but we got him up there, right? And so just to talk about James, honestly, James and I were like nonstop. Like we spent the entire deployment like untouchable. We were hand in hand the entire time. And this guy, I remember one time we went out. It was so cold. Do you remember that time when it was blizzardy? It was just the coldest time in the world. I don't think I've ever been that cold. I'm pretty sure your gun froze. You couldn't even charge it. It was frozen. And he looks at me and he says, dude, you need to go back. Like, look at you. You're, you're, you have icicles coming out of your eyes. Like, you have icicles coming out of your ears. Like, every tear duct had icicles coming out of it. We were so frozen, we didn't even know it. And he's like, you need to go back. Get out of here. Go, go. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, yo, Lopez, like, you're whiter than a ghost. <laughs> like, honestly, you need to go back. Look at you, dude. Your skin color is pale. And he's like, no, I'm good. You need to go back. And we looked over at, who was it? Pierce. You remember Pierce? Pierce looked like he was going to die, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, dude, that dude needs to drink some water. And we both pull a bottle of water out of our pocket, trying to give it to him, and they're frozen. It was so cold. But like, Lopez is the guy that he didn't give a shit about anybody else but himself. Or, but it, he <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> no, don't worry, but you love the shots. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know where I'm at anymore. <laughs> Hey, dude, if someone wasn't going to mess this up, it was going to be me and you, all right? You know who it was going to be somebody that's going to be me. I'm from table three. 
So anyways, honestly, if he didn't care about anybody, but like, or he didn't care about himself, he cared about everybody else, right? Like, he cared about like me, he cared about all the guys, and it was weird. Like, I guess that's why it's so hard for me to say is because like, who the hell cares about other people anymore, right? Like, you look around and everybody only cares about themselves, and that's why it's so hard to say is because he actually gave a shit about me rather than himself. And that's what we would never eat before I ate. You remember that? Every time we got back, you were like, hey, eat. And we get in an argument. I'd be like, no, you eat. And he'd be like, no, you eat. Why is this weird for us? And that's why, like, honestly, like, if there's one marriage that I value, it's this one. Like, this is, this is a, a one, a one-off. It's, it's strange. It's a, it's good. Hey, but if there was someone's going to tell a story that's just weird, it's going to be You knew that. When you invited me. Hey, hey, come here. You knew it was going to be me. Hey, what year did we go to that one wedding in Washington? Was it 2016? Was it 2015? Was it 20? No, it was 2014. You know what? I was figuring she was not going to like me after that one. <laughs> I was drinking hard for a long time, and we all knew that. Yeah, that was a bad time for all of us. I'm not going to say I... Oh, shut up. Did I really do that? <laughs> good for me, I was still... I was chivalrous. It's not gone. Hey, to James and Thalia... Honestly, I'm pretty sure my relationship wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for you guys. Because how many times we talked on the phone and talked about just like how relationships work. Right? All right, somebody else take this and say something. Come on. I'm at him. I'm just like ruining things at that point. I got jokes, all right? I got jokes, but the dad jokes. I'd like to say something that I prepared tonight. Hello. How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it Sin City. <laughs> You guys might know this about me, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. <laughs> I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. But when Thalia brought James home, I knew he was one of my own. And my wolf pack, it grew by one. <laughs> so there were, there were two of us in the wolf pack. I was the one first in the pack, and then James came along. And six months ago, when uh, Thalia introduced James to me, uh, I thought, wait a second, could it, could it be? And now I know for sure. I just added two more to my wolf pack. <laughs> Three of us wolves running around the desert together. Thank you, because <laughs> that almost got escalated. Um, but on a serious note, I, <laughs> I think I wanted to like do this at his wedding for, I don't know, like 12 years. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. Um, no, I've obviously known James uh, a while, and I think right before that we were talking about how I've always been jealous because he's known you longer, and um, I think I'll keep the short sweet to say that I'm, you know, happy like the rest of us are, um, ecstatic almost that this day has finally come. Um, no, but I mean, yeah, but it's uh, you know, this isn't 
tomorrow's no different. Like you guys have built a strong relationship. Uh, you know, and obviously things have changed, but I know that tomorrow you guys will wake up and uh, you know, you'll be the same great people that are always here have come to to love and appreciate. It. And with that, I don't have a glass, but if, if anyone else wants to raise a glass and just toast to James and Talia. Hey. Hey. Anyone else? Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Víctor Delgado. Les quiero agradecer que nos hayan acompañado en este momento. Este tan feliz de mi hija, este, yo sé que todos hicieron un, un esfuerzo grande por venir, este, anécdotas no les voy a contar muchas, es nomás quisiera decir yo a mi hija que la amo, eh, es, soy un padre muy fuerte con él, eh, no es que así me hayan tratado, simplemente la vida te hace ser diferente a cada quien. No puedo decir que ahorita tengo un hijo nuevo, porque ya tengo como 15 años con él. Pero no, no, es, no es algo, nada. Siempre lo he apreciado como un hijo más. O sea, ahorita le digo, te quiero como un hijo, pues no, ya eso ya, ya, ya tiene muchos años, que lo quiero como un hijo. Lo aprecio, un hombre muy respetuoso conmigo. Y ahorita en este tiempo es pocas las personas jóvenes que lo respetan. Y él siempre me ha respetado. Siempre me ha respetado. Este, bueno, en una ocasión que se enojó con Talía y estaba yo tomando una cervecita afuera y llega con un ramo de flores. Y pues. Pues no, pues, digo, ¿qué estás haciendo? Dice, no, pues no me habla, traigo un ramo de flores. Le digo, pues, si ¿sí estás hablando con la persona adecuada, soy el que sé la combinación para entrar a la casa, puedo despertar tal día, pero mira, ya se me acabó la micro. O sea, traigo un dosecito. Y digo, ya, ya te abro todo, te puedo arreglar todo este asunto. Le dice, no, pues ahí se estaba con un ramo de flores. Le digo, nada, no. Tú tienes que entender que cuando ella dice no, es no. Entonces, búscale por otro lado. Y fue tertivo, fue terco. Le tertió, le tertió hasta este momento. Hasta este momento y, pues nuevamente, quiero agradecerles que hayan estado aquí con nosotros. Estamos muy felices. Yo, muy feliz verlos realizar. Muchas gracias.